what were your first thoughts when you saw the new set of rules? Oh my goodness, <laughs> what have they done? They were challenged to drop both habitats and supplies and autonomous gliders that we called crew delivery aircraft, CDAs. And those were released and autonomously glided down to a target zone. The other supplies were dropped uh, in a more ballistic trajectory down into a target zone. So there was three different types of payloads that they were challenged to drop and they only had two passes over the runway to do it. We wanted it to be a good engineering challenge for the teams, but we were not, uh, we, we did not miss the fact that we were look, trying to make it also more visually interesting. If, if you can get both, you know, why not go for both? The Nerf Vortex footballs, the howlers, they definitely howl on the way down. So that was a lot of fun. The new rule set required a lot more, I guess I'll call it thoughtful, uh, systems engineering and a, a whole different approach to making sure that our controls were uh, more thought out, more fleshed out compared to previous years when it was more important just to lift as much weight as you can. It's, it's almost like a its own micro class kind of competition so having that and having it be impact sensitive upon landing was another design challenge as well. It looked like a very challenging rule set. They had a lot of things going on, there were a lot of things within the mission that had needed to be required and because of that we had to take a different approach to uh, solving this mission. So. We had to divide our team up a little bit more than we're used to in order to tackle each of the subsets of the problem to solve this aircraft system of systems. The first thing that we really had to do is we had to figure out what the scoring equation actually meant. So like we have all of these different variables going in, factoring into the scoring equation, but what actually scores points? The biggest hurdle for us, um, and we may not have realized it entirely at the time, was having the like the human resources on the mechanical side of things to deal with the uh, colonist delivery aircraft. Uh, in order to test CDAs uh, rapidly and also in a low-cost manner, we actually designed a medieval, if you will, catapult. And what it does is it holds the uh, colonist delivery aircraft, and then once we release it, flings the uh, colonist delivery aircraft over a short range to give it some initial velocity. People start to learn lessons and, and improve and iterate, but, but it's not so much of an innovation. Whereas this year, uh, there was a whole variety of different approaches to how to handle dropping an autonomous glider. Do you put it under the wing? Do you trail it behind the aircraft? Is it uh, underneath the center fuselage? Do you carry one or two or three? Um, what's your mix of water bottles uh, or Nerf footballs or gliders? Because each one was scored a little bit differently. I, I was wondering if any team was going to try and do both a glider drop and uh, a traditional ballistic drop on the same pass because that was technically something that the rules allowed, but I didn't see any teams attempt that uh, over both events this year. It'll be interesting to see next year as people uh, are reacting to the rules and learning whether anybody approaches the rules to, to try to attempt to drop gliders and um, supplies all on one pass over the target area.